everyone, my name is Lena Krupina and today in the video we will remember one of the most favorite headings on my channel, One Step Away From Victory. This will be the fourth episode. In the previous ones, we met gymnast who stopped one step away from the convected victory or medal imp of important starts. Each gymnast had their own story and each in case left her mark in rhythmic gymnastics for life, despite the fact that at some point it was not possible to achieve what she wanted. So back in 2017, we talked about Alia Garaeva, Melitina Stenuta, Salome Pashava, Song Yongji, and Olga Kompranova, who could not win an Olympic medal. About Daria Kondakova, Vera Sesina, Lisan Utesheva, and Alexandra Melkulova, who could not get to the Olympics. About Yana Kudravtseva, Irina Chashina, and Daria Dmitrieva, who were able to win only silver medals of the Olympic Games instead of possible gold ones. About Maria Titova and Yulia Bravi who never managed to become leaders in the Russian team, and about the path of Alina Kabaeva from one Olympiad to the other. Today, we will find out how psychological problems and public pressure can interfere with dreams, how difficult it is to fight for gold when you seem to be jinxed, how fate and world disease can take away your chance for recognition. Like an endless stream of injuries and the younger generation blocks the way to medals, and how you can become a young star and well-known gymnast, but never grow up to senior tournaments. Alina Shmatko is one of the most famous juniors, whom I constantly remember when talking about expressiveness and charisma. She attracted the eyes of everyone. She was predicted to have a champion senior career, and she was clearly one of winners' favorites. From early childhood, Polina was haunted by injuries, due to which she had to suspend her career, but she returned every time. In 2014, she began to shine in the juniors in her country and gradually began to win medals in the international tournaments. Later, the European championship in which she won a total of five medals. She knew how to make people fall in love with her when she was on the carpets and everyone was waiting for her in the senior category in hope that she would become a leader there but unexpectedly for many Polina stopped appearing at tournaments. At first everyone was waiting for her asking questions but she was silent and did not talk about an end and after a long time the world found out that Polina would not return to perform. In one of her live streams she said that she was was tired of gymnastics and did not want to do it anymore. Later information appeared that Polina ended her career due to back problems and if it weren't for health problems then Polina certainly would have been able to compete in the senior program and visit adult tournaments as a champion. Minagawa, a Japanese gymnast, is a fairly experienced and successful athlete who has already ended her career. In her country, she became a discovery and for the first time brought a World Cup medal for her country. She trained in Novogorsk for a long time and improved with the best coaches of the world. Her dreams were the second Olympics in Tokyo. At the first Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, she could not reach the final, but at least she participated. With getting closer to her second Olympic Games in her native country, not everything worked out. At First, the coronavirus pandemic hit, which postponed the Olympic Games for a year, and after Kaha faced injuries that she could not quickly recover from. And as a result, she lost to the younger athletes at the national selection and, as a result, was not included in the team of the Olympic Games. If not for the coronavirus, the postponement of the Games and the injuries Kaha would have been able to not only go to the Games, but also to get into the all-around final. We 
Ekaterina Galkina, a Belarusian gymnast, is another athlete whose plans were ruined by the coronavirus. For a long time, Katya was the second number of the national team after Milutina Stanyuta. And after Milutina ended her career, Katya automatically became the first number of the national team and the most experienced athlete of her country. But Alina Karnasko and Anastasia Salas pulled themselves up, and Katya had a difficult period of a pandemic and many injuries, after which she was not able to gain a full form. And if it weren't for the coronavirus and injuries, Katya would have competed for the Tokyo medals, because even before the coronavirus at the last World Championships, she won medals of separate apartheid. <laughs> Verena, a Russian gymnast for whom my soul aches, for the failures that haunted her at world tournaments and by interesting coincidence, many with the ribbon. However, Arena repeatedly became the winner of all main starts, especially she was successful at nationals and continental level tournaments. Then in 2018, the first big problem with ribbon happened. It really looked like an evil eye. Arena, self-confident and in good shape, accidentally makes a knot in her ribbon. Then she takes a spare one and breaks it. All this became a loud scandal. Although Russia then reacted calmly to it and did not request any inquiries, asking to redo the exercise. Then, in Arena's career, there were several more tournaments in which she faced problems with the ribbon, and the most important and pleasant moment happened in the final of the Olympic Games. Arena passed all three routines clearly. However, she was losing to difficulty to her sister and to the Israeli gymnast. And when performing with her last apparatus, Arena had problems with the ribbon and she replaced it. For this, she received a rather large deduction, which did not give her a chance to take the podium in the finals of the Olympic Games. And in the end, she was left without a main starts medal. And if it weren't for the coronavirus and a huge number of missed starts, if not for this strange ribbon situation, Arena could well claim the gold of the Olympic Games because she repeatedly took over Linoy Ashram as well as Dina Averina and Alina Harnasco. Alexandra Sholdatova is a gymnast who, even after the end of her sports career, is remembered as the best in recent times. Sasha's career has been very difficult and filled with ups and downs. For a long time, she was the third number of the national team, and at the Olympics in Rio, she was a reserve, although was fully prepared for them. After the leaders left, everyone was waiting for Sasha to become the first number and finally shine on the world stage. She already shone, but just so far in the shadow, of her team girlfriends. But with the change of rules and the coming to the leadership of Arena and Dina, Sasha often had troubles. Everyone had to question what was happening to her, but no one knew or understood. Sasha missed starts without explaining the reason, got injured again, didn't go to starts, and and went out and won again. She withdrawed from the finals several times due to fainting and injuries. Everyone had a question what was happening to her. Rumors spread, but Sasha was silent. Everything was revealed in early February 2020, when information appeared in the media that Sasha was taken to the Sklifonsky Institute due to cuts on her left arm as a result of suicide attempt. Sasha herself and her trainers commented that she accidentally cut herself with a knife in the kitchen and came to the hospital by herself. Rumors on conversations did not subside and Sasha was forced to speak publicly and talk about her problem which she has been fighting for more than two years. Sasha suffered from bulimia and was forced to take a break from sports to recover and return to training. In general, this whole story with her illness greatly shocked the world of gymnastics. Most likely, psychological problems began due to the pressure that is exerted on the gymnast in the national team. Just someone can live with them, but others can't. So already in the end of February 2020, Sasha announced her retirement without getting into any of the Olympic 
six as a participant. Leaving, she said that she was not leaving totally and would connect her life with gymnastics. It was forever in her heart, but now she was forced to fully devote her time to healing. If it weren't for the public pressure on Sasha that she must become the first number, it wasn't for Sasha's perfectionism and probably she would have become an Olympic champion and go down into the history of the Olympic Games. Each of these gymnasts has their own story and each gave us a huge number of masterpieces on the carpet. Each can be remembered for a long time and perhaps always. Thank you for giving us your childhood. Well, thank you for watching this video to the end. I remind you that you can support my channel using the link in the description. Remember that I love you all very, very much. Bye bye.